So I don't know if you heard this week, uh, but I released the news that I actually left the All Deaf Music platform as a host. Here's why. Now, I know many of you probably have questions, even if you did see that post, you want to figure out, hey, Curtis, man, why would you leave such a great opportunity? And, you know, what, what was wrong with it? Was it a great opportunity? Yes, it was a, definitely a great opportunity. It was something that, you know, it, it doesn't come to many people, the opportunity to do that. And thankfully, through the strength of my videos, through the strength of the work that I've been doing with you guys, the strength of just really getting my name and my brand out there, uh, a buddy of mine named Amir, who works there, actually put me on notice up there he put my videos on to a lot of people and they took a good liking to me and uh, another great gentleman named Patrick invited me up to the studio or the actual office um, I got to take a tour and check out everything and everything looks so dope and they laid out on the table a few opportunities one of those being hosting and I had never done traditional hosting in terms of on camera I mean really the closest thing is these perspirations but I figured you know what it's worth the challenge I, I, I like taking on new challenges, like taking on new opportunities because I believe it brings new results and I believe that it can bring you new opportunities. This was no different. So they told me a little bit about the job. I told them that my primary business though is CurtisKingBeats.com and these videos. And if you didn't know, that is my primary business because this is what literally takes care of my well-being. So they said, no problem, no problem. You know, we'll have you do that. Um, not to get too much into the details of it, I will say this. There was three things that stood out, and I hope you can learn a lesson from it. Uh, the first thing that stood out was that they needed me to basically be sort of a content creator within my hosting position, which I wasn't aware of. I had to do that. That requires extra time. Extra time away from Curtis King Beats, which takes care of 90% of my income. That's something that can't be sacrificed. Now, the second thing, um, the first day I went in there, actually, I went and did a few test runs and... Um, you know, the producer of the show basically told me to, you know, run the story off. So I said, hi, this is All Deaf Music News. I'm Curtis King. Thinking it's a curspiration because that's what they wanted me for. And she's like, ugh, could you bring the energy down a little bit? And I'm like, for sure, I could play ball, no worries. This is All Deaf Music News. I'm Curtis King. Here's your story. She's like, ah, could you bring it down just a little bit more? I'm like, okay, that's that's a lot, a lot toned down that I'm used to. And then it became, uh, I'm All Deaf Music News. I'm Curtis King. Brian Gumbel, whatever you want to call me at that point. And she said, that's perfect. And I said, no. I was like, they want Diet Curtis, son. You can't get Diet Curtis. That was the second thing. The third thing is, <clears throat> I, I was, even then, I was still willing to play ball because of the opportunity, because I felt like it would bring more of an audience to what we're doing, and it would bring more people who need that help. And I was thinking about them. But then it got to a point where some of the topics I was covering is not really my forte you know you guys know me better than anybody else i don't sit up here i don't talk about you know any kind of gossip and not to say that they were talking about that but like i i literally don't care about drake's first week sales i don't and that's no slide that's no side to him that's no disrespect i just don't care i'm too busy working on my business i think it's great i think that's awesome but i don't know him and i don't care about first week sales i don't care about this new song i just i don't i don't i just I'm, i'd rather work so I tried to, you know, uh, sacrifice. I tried to compromise. I tried to make it like, hey, let's do five motivational trap songs. And it was like, yeah, that's not part of our branding. And I'm like, you do know who you got. You don't want me to be animated. You don't want me to do my branding. That's fine. So in that situation, I, I got a bit frustrated um, in my personal time and I had to make a decision. I said, well, what is it that you want, Curtis? The lesson I hope you learn is that when you are aligned with your purpose, you know exactly what it is that you want to do. There cannot be any opportunity paying well enough because it paid well. There was no opportunity that can give you enough fame that justifies you jumping off of your path. You don't know how long you got to live. I certainly don't. I wish I was psychic. I wish I had Cleo, rest in peace, on my speed dial, but I don't. I don't know how long it's going to be. But what I do know is that every moment that I have been blessed with, I would not take for granted and I would not do anything that doesn't make me feel fulfilled, happy, or feel like I'm helping people. And that became my decision. So, I don't have anything else to say about it. It's a long video, but I wanted to explain this situation so you understand that if you know your worth, if you know your purpose, you know your value, you cannot be straight. Sometimes it may happen temporarily, but it can't be straight too long because you know what you gotta do. 
once again, it's another perspiration. Look, if you need some more of this juice, please subscribe to the grass. I mean, to the park, whatever. Subscribe to the channel. And look, if you know your worth and you know your purpose, not too many things are going to pull you off path because you know better. You know what it is that you, you want to do and you know what it is that you're put here to do. If you have any questions or if you have any situations in which you got pulled off course, man, please share them in the comments below or a young lady or whatever. Please share them in the comments below. Like I always say, you can't be full of life until you decide that life to us fullest. Curtis King of Curtis. I can't listen to the music. When I listen to you, it's a liability. Cause you be mentally killing my inner energy. So I'm concealing my feelings before you injure me.